Mick's decade-long career in the creative industry, he won four BAFTAs and had such a profound impact on so many. Well, to tell us more about these crucial characters in our lives that many grew up with, I'm joined by Kent Film Club presenter Chris DC. Chris, um, some really sad news today that would be quite devastating for a lot of people, especially Harry Potter fans, but not just Harry Potter fans, everybody knows who Sir Michael Gambon was and what he sort of meant to people growing up. Absolutely, and when you consider that he came to this role quite late, Richard Harris passed away in 2002, so he inherited the role from him. And of course, younger people you know, will remember him as Albus Dumbledore. Um, I remember, I think one of the first films I saw that he was in was with Robin Williams in Toys back in the early 90s. A lot of TV work in the 80s, the singing detective, the, uh, so of course from Dennis Potter to Harry Potter. So, so a formidable career, died at the age of 82, but, but just looking at the tributes today, I was, you know, Helen Mirren, Dave Mylene Atkins, people who've worked with him, you know, an extraordinary uh, talent. And I suppose when we look at characters like the, the role he played, mm. like Albus Dumbledore, it's something that actually really resonates with us and we keep with us. It's not just the actor, but we feel like we know them. I mean, we can see here Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, um, playing on the screen now, you know, that would have been a staple that people would have grown up with. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who would have grown up with the sort of work that he was doing on the stage, but the film, but the film characters, you're right. I mean, for a lot of people, this is legendary. You know, they grew up with these sort of characters. And uh, it's, I think it's always lovely when you've got these sort of late career renaissance. You know, someone like Dennis Potter, who forged his career in, uh, on the stage and in TV. I mean, the four BAFTAs that you mentioned were all for TV work, including the singing detective. And then, of course, in the last 20 years, he is synonymous with the character you see on the screen here, um, Albus Dumbledore. And I suppose it goes to show for all those characters we grow up watching on the screen as well. Um, really sad news and our, our thoughts are of course mm. with all his family and those he leaves behind. Um, I wanted to bring you some more film news actually Chris while, while you're here as well. So the Hollywood strikes they seem to have reached a resolution. What does this mean for Kent? Well, this is, as you say, um, very good news because this has been, what, since May, and then the actors joined the uh, the Writers Guild on strike in July. Well, I mean, uh, the good news is that it means that filming will at some point resume. I think the key words there are at some point because it's going to be several months before the locations are going to return. So it may be that some of the, the TV shows in America can start uh, immediately. But in terms of location shooting, I think it's, I mean, we talked about the butterfly effect on this program exactly. uh, a few weeks ago. I think it's going to take, uh, my guess is it will be early next year before we start seeing some return to normality. That butterfly effect affecting us right back because it was about four million, I think we were talking before, that it's impacted with all those shoots here in Kent. Do you think we'll be able to claw back that money quick enough? Well, I think that, it, I mean, when you consider individual films sometimes, like we were talking about Empire of Light before, I mean, that in itself could, you know, brought a few million to the Kent economy. I think the answer is yes. I don't think it's going to be immediate. But I think that, I mean, it, it just needs local politicians, uh, people like, you know, talking as we are now, to really sort of see if we can get the economy uh, growing again and to bring some of those great film shootings back to the county. Something we don't, we don't realise how important it is yeah. until it happens, I suppose. Well, thank you very much, Chris, for joining um, another episode of Kent Film Club coming out this evening as well straight after Kent yeah. tonight. Thank you very much for joining Thanks, me. Thanks Abby.